You know, this is one of my favorite old guy back variation workouts. A little vertical pulling action, aka pull ups. A little bit of rowing action. And some pretty nice rear delt work. Not a whole lot of volume, but a whole lot of intensity. So, why don't you hang out with me for a bit? And I'll show you what I was up to. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark 60 Plus Fitness Journey. Okay, real quick, this is a post-workout intro. Today was back day. Back on rear delts. Um, forgot to wear my glasses, so I'm incognito, but this is really me. Workout partner Howard is down under the weather got a little fever going so we kept him indoors today but today was back day as i said pretty good back day so let me take you in the gym here show you what i was up to then as always we'll catch back up in a few minutes and wrap it all up let's go do it Alrighty, off we go with today's old guy back workout I'm starting today's particular back workout with some pull-ups in specific two sets here after some obligatory warm-ups now I'm a big fan of pull-ups if you've been following me for a while you know my back workouts include pull-ups probably 80% of the time and I think any back workout certainly needs to include some vertical pulls that can be obviously with some cables cable pull downs lat pull downs whatever you want to call them and pull-ups pull-ups are certainly a vertical pulling movement needless to say and it's a vital component in developing that really cool V taper, hitting those lats really hard. Now I'm sure this varies from person to person. Your results may vary, but for me, pull-ups are one of the most effective movements I can do. I get really good results from pull-ups. Now for example, when I do cable lat pull downs they're certainly cool and I like them and I vary the grip wide neutral narrow not so not so wide but I don't get the same pump in my lats with cable work as I do with actual pull-ups why that is I have no idea but I roll with it, it works so I lean on pull-ups now today I didn't do any cable pull down work um, I relied solely on the pull-ups. I started with the pull-ups and I'll finish with some pull-ups as you'll see here in a little bit. And of course, no back workout is complete without focusing on the mid-back rhomboids, the mid or lower lats. Just some good rowing action to give the back some thickness. Now I think cable, not cable, but uh, barbell rows are probably the best movement and I hope to start incorporating them again, some heavy barbell rows, but um, I'm still having a little bit of difficulty with my balance. A little bit of a holdover from that vestibular neuritis I had last year, earlier this year. So I'm going to get back to the barbell rows, but for now, I lean pretty heavily on machines like this one. This is a hammer strength rowing machine, and the beauty of this is you can vary your grip. As you see, I've got a, a pronated grip going there, and I started out with a neutral grip. I only did two sets of these, but they were, they were intense. 
I think I mentioned or oh well they're probably around an RPE of nine nine and a half here's my buddy Jason that dude used to be a competitive bodybuilder he's since retired I think he's about 45 he's a beast no doubt but I see him there every day I'm there good dude now I'm going to continue with the mid-back movements. I guess this is a continuation of a rowing type movement. Seated cable pull. So I'm going to do two sets here. And again, I'm going to vary the, vary the hand position. Now here, this first set, I'm starting with some, some grips. And... I'm in a neutral position here, and I, actually, I, I think I wrote there that in the in the little note there it was 12 reps. I think I did 13. But again, this was pretty much to failure. RPE of nine, nine plus. RPE meaning, if you're not familiar with that, rate of perceived effort. And that's a scale of one to ten. One being very easy warm-up type stuff to 10 meaning couldn't have possibly done another rep and as I said I'm varying the hand grip hand position here again on the second set with a wider pronated grip and again I'm going to do this to failure or near failure I like to, or I have been recently, recently being you know, several months now, on a lower volume, higher intensity kick. So when I say that, I historically in the past have, I guess that's what historically implies, but, but I would overwork. I would do too much volume at too high of an intensity and I think my recovery suffered a bit so lately I've cut back the volume at least by 50 percent and I've stuck to my rest day very very religiously I used to kind of ignore that at my own peril now here I'm gonna do one more set of rowing action with some dumbbell rows this, this is another one I think is um, terribly underrated. Maybe not by you, but it was for me for years. This is a great movement, and a lot of days I'll do two, three sets of these. But today, like I said, just one set at a very high intensity level. These bad boys are hard. And you'll notice that um, I'm not putting my knee on the bench. I'm just setting the bench at like a 45 degree incline setting the off hand on the top of the bench there hinging my hips back and just pulling the bar the dumbbell up from between my legs up as high as I can engaging the back pulling with the elbow trying to keep the bicep out as much as possible and engaging the back muscles it's a the old infamous uh, mind muscle connection try to make sure you feel those back muscles contract that was a good set right there <laughs> it really was actually starting to get a little sweat glisten going actually the gym has actually been cold lately in there I don't know what the deal is with that I guess they're uh, trying to save on the heat but I like it a little warmer in the gym I really do. And I'm going to finish up with um, a little bit of rear delt work. Here I'm opting for some dumbbells. And I actually meant to do a little bit more rear delt work today, but this is today was limited to this. Did two sets of these. You can see I start out with a pronated grip and then swap for the last you know set well in this case seven reps with a neutral grip you could do really high reps with these and 
get a pretty good effect out of it. These hit my rear delts really well. And a good alternative to this is reverse peck deck flies. Those things work pretty awesomely too. Awesomely. I guess that's a word. Now I'm going to finish up today's workout with two sets of neutral grip pull-ups. And I like to do these just as a final hit on the lats and that good old V taper. Now when I do these, I like to uh, pull my hips up a little bit, try to angle my body backwards a little bit as I'm pulling up there just to hit those, those lats. Again, a mind-muscle connection contracting the lats. There you go. Short, sweet, low volume, high intensity, old guy back workout. Now, of course, you don't have to be an old guy to do this, but uh, it works for me. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. See ya. Well, there you have it. Just one more day in the fitness journey of this 63-year-old, soon to be 64. Man, I love doing this stuff. I love walking to the gym. I love being in the gym. I love walking home from the gym. I love feeling like I've been to the gym. It's all good stuff. And I want to say thank you very much, very, very much, for hanging out with me today. And as always, you know, hit that like button. Share it with share this with your friends. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing. It's a cool group here. Love to have you with us. So I guess with that, I will say, until next time, go get them. Mark out. <laughs>